Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. This is Ephraim and you're watching Planting with Ephraim Grace. Another day, another plant to discuss. Ito na naman ang inyong hardinerong kapitbahay na sasabing, tara, usap tayo. Hi guys! So buhay! Welcome back to our channel. This is Ephraim and you're watching Planting with Ephraim Grace. Magandang araw mga kapuso, kapatid, kapamilya at mga kapitbahay. Um, there are some plants that do have uh, their, uh, their unique characteristics and sometimes this characteristic shows during the different stages of their growth, development and of course the flowering stages. And one of those plants like uh, this is what we call as the Estepalia gigantea. Okay, so this is my cuttings of Estepalia gigantea. Kita niyo? So this particular plant is also known as the Carion flower, Zulu giant, giant toad flower, and starfish flower. This plant is an, is an uh, origin of South African region, okay? So as you can see, this particular plant is a spine-free succulent member of the milkweed. Ibig sabihin lang nun, hindi siya cactus, okay? O hindi siya nabibilang sa cactus family. And this is native to the dry desert areas from Tanzania to South Africa. Now, um, this particular plant is um, come come uh, come from the name of uh, Malodorus flower aroma which resembles to the smell of rotting meat. Yun yung kanya kasing amoy nung kanyang bulaklak pag ito ay nagbo-bloom na or nag-open na yung kanyang bulaklak. But the good thing about this particular plant, sila naman yung pinaka maganda o hindi lang pinaka maganda pero sila yung pinaka malaki at magandang klase ng 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 flowers kumbaga. This particular uh, plant uh, this particular flower is the focal point with um, uh, focal point of this particular plant with five pointed star shaped flower na uh, nag-range in terms of diameter by 10 to 16 inches across. So ano yung 10 to 16 uh, in inches across? Ibig sabihin lang nun, kasi laki ng isang plato. Okay, yung kanyang laki ng kanyang uh, bulaklak. That is the reason why this particular uh, Estepania gigantea is considered to be, uh, the, the flower of this uh, Estepania gigantea is considered to be one of the largest flower in the world. Okay? Now, the color of this plant is ochre yellow with thin transverse maroon lines. So, uh, meron din siya mga hair-like structures doon sa paligid ng kanyang bulaklak o doon sa kanyang pinaka, um, pinaka line ng kanyang bulaklak. Now, the good thing about this one, ang kanyang pollinator ay yung mga tinatawag nating mga flies o yung mga langaw. Hindi mga mga, mga bees at saka hindi mga uh, uh, mga butterflies. So, yun ang, yun ang, kanyang, yun ang kanyang way on how to, to, on how to uh, uh, pollinate yung kanyang mga bulaklak. So, this spineless four angle succulent stems grow upright. So, makikita natin itong aking hawak na halaman. This is actually cutting up to 8 to 12 inches tall before scrambling sideways with the tip still erect. So, actually, ito kasi ay naka, ano na to, nakababa na to doon sa, sa kanyang mother plant. Okay? I just get this one doon sa aming mother plant doon sa kabilang bahay. Actually, ganito na ang kanyang itsura. So, meron tayong extension dito yun yung kanyang pinaka stem kung saan nag na, nag droop na siya or bumaba na siya doon sa kanyang uh, pinaka uh, uh, pinaka pinaka pot na now, now dahil nga medyo adult na siya the tendency of this one is magkaroon siya ng tinatawag natin ng ng rotting para nagkakaroon na siya ng sa sobrang bigat niya nagkakaroon na siya ng injury doon sa may area kaya Minsan, pakikita natin na medyo nag induce na siya ng mga tinatawag nating mga, um, mga, mga black spots, kumbaga. Kasi nga, di ba, ang weather naman natin dito sa Pilipinas ay wet at saka dry. So, nung nakaraan, medyo wet talaga. So, yun talaga gumabagyo. So, that's the reason why medyo nag-introduce na to doon sa tinatawag natin ng rotting, doon sa stems. And of course, there are some insects na or some people na syempre pag dumadaan minsan tinatamaan yung kanyang stem so yun ang nangyari sa kanya so nagkaroon siya ng, ng rotting kasi nagkaroon ng, ng sugat yung stem na ito okay? but anyway this particular plant is still good naman for repotting or replanting that's what we're going to do for this particular session of our youtube channel 
Okay, so uh, this plant, since meron siyang flower, definitely, meron naman siyang seeds also. Itratawag natin itong seed pod, which resembles to a milkweed. Okay, so para siyang parachute, kung baga. Okay, now, as you can see, this particular plant, yan, makikita natin yan, serrated yung kanyang, hindi naman actually serrated eh, parang nagkakaroon siya ng mga zigzag formation dun sa margin niya. Tapos, ang kanyang pinaka uh, dahon, or pinaka uh, dahon niya is, ano, uh, apat or cube-like structures na meron siyang mga, tatawag nating mga, uh, ano ba to, zigzag uh, margin doon sa kanyang pinaka, um, pinaka, leaves kung baga. Okay? So yung kanyang leaves fleshy at as you can see meron siyang mga discolorations na rin. Uh, pag ito ay medyo matured na or medyo adult na yung kanyang stages. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung nag uh, nagre-reddish na yan, yan ay matanda ng klase ng leaves. And minsan, um, we could be able to see na hindi siya talaga totally natatanggal doon sa pinaka halaman. So, matagal kasi yung buhay nila. So, ano yung mga magagandang gamitin natin for this particular propagation ng ating halaman? Of course, yung medyo maganda pa yung kanyang kulay, kagaya nito. Okay? Pansinin ninyo yung kulay niya, medyo uh, dark green pa rin siya. Okay? At medyo stiff pa rin or erect pa rin yung kanyang pinakadahon. Also, you must be able to see also na kailan siya magiging ready na pwede siyang iripat. So, the tendency now is for you to look dun sa kanya mga possible vestigious roots. Ayan na, kita niyo yung mga dots, dots na yan. That is the beginning already na, na, na magkakaroon na siya ng roots. Okay? So, yun yung kanyang, uh, kanyang maturity na pwede na siyang i-transplant or, or i-propagate kung baga. Okay? So, again, indirectly, sinasabi ko sa inyo, the way of propagation for this particular plant is through... Uh, Aside from, from, from seeds, it is also for the stem cutting. Ayan. So, pipili lang muna tayo dito ng mga ng mga, uh, mga bahagi dito na pwede natin gamitin or pwede natin itanim as a new plant to produce another uh, uh, mother plant. Kung baga. Okay. So, um, ano ba ba? So, what are the different things na kailangan ng ating, ating uh, plant? So, next. So, of course, we have to look primarily yung kanyang um, propagation. Okay. So, as, uh, yung kanyang pinaka-soil. Okay. So, I'm going to use here the soil mix. Ayan. Ang soil mix kasi yung gagamitin ko ngayon is actually a mixture of a coco choir. Tapos, meron siyang pumice rocks. Tapos, medyo naghalo ako ng loam soil. The, uh, the good thing about the Stepalia gigantia, hindi siya masyadong choosy doon sa kanyang mga sa kanyang soil mix. Kaya um actually yung ginamit kong soil mix doon sa kanyang mother plant is medyo may may pagka 100% uh, loam clay type. So medyo tumitigas yung kanyang kanyang soil. So this time I'm going to do now yung medyo spongy na klase ng soil na madali naman siyang ma-break din naman or uh, pag ma, ma, or hindi naman siya hindi naman siya masyadong um Uh, hindi, hindi naman siya masyadong uh, nagko-contain ng water. Although, nagme-maintain siya ng moisture. So, for the meantime, since we're going to propagate, hindi ko siya lalagay sa malaking pot. So, I'm going to use this particular smaller pot with a good drainage system. Ayan. Drainage holes, kung baga. So, maglagay lang tayo ng konti dito. <coughs> And we're going to choose now the best uh, part for this particular uh, propagation. So, I'm going to choose now yung medyo ma meron na siyang ugat kung baga okay or yung kanyang uh, roots ay very visible na okay so ang hahanapin natin dito guys ay yung matingkad na kulay tapos na matingkad na kulay green tapos meron na siyang mga vestigial roots ayon nakita ko isa so i'm going to cut this one so uh, sa pagka-cut naman doon natin pipiliin doon sa pinakadulo kung baga so i'm going to choose This one. Okay, I'm going to choose this one. Itong hawa ko. Ito, ito, ito. Okay, kasi meron na siyang vestigial roots doon. Tapos, ikakat natin siya doon sa pinaka may margin dyan. Yung pinaka pinagdudugtsungan niya. Okay. So, uh, in line with this one, this particular plant also loves full sun. So, since na nga, so kanyang nature, ay hindi naman niya, uh, yung full sun naman kasi ay, 
uh, sa, uh, sa I mean, do sa kanyang original place kasi sa uh, South Africa. Talagang wala nang masyadong sh- uh, shaded area doon. So, we're going to have now yung ang uh, tinatawag na pulsan, syempre. So, this particular Stepania erect as uh, Stepalia gigantea loves the pulsan, okay? So, hanap pa tayo ng isa pa habang dinetry natin yung leaves. So, this time hanap tayo ng mas malaki. So, I'm going to choose this one ulit. Okay? Yon. So, yan. So, uh, in terms of the watering ng ating Estepal, uh, Estepalia gigantea, mas maganda if you're going to wait until the soil is dried already to medium bago natin siya diligan. Kasi, definitely, even since na ang kanyang natural environment ay very dry, eh, um, so, ang tendency niyan, meron siyang tolerance doon sa drought sa dry soil, at sa kalo sa medyo konti lamang yung kanyang organic material, o yung tinatawag natin shallow rocky soil, kung baga. So, uh, if I were you, if you're planning to plant this kind of material, dun sa ating, uh, sa, dito sa atin, the, tendency, the, the main thing here that you have to consider is, um, kung yung kanyang location, o yung kanyang placement. Um, uh, another thing is, hindi natin siya pwedeng ilagay sa loob ng ating bahay. That, that is for sure, kasi nga pulsan siya. And um, this one really loves you own mismo atmosphere sa, sa labas. Ngayon, if you decided to put this siguro sa loob ng bahay nyo, maybe siguro once or, or once uh, a week, or once a week um, pwede nyo ipasok pero hindi pwede nyo tagal sa loob ng bahay. Especially kung atmosphere naman natin sa ating bahay ay madilim. Kasi uh, definitely it will encourage yung tinatawag nating root rot. Okay? Doon sa ating, or kasi nagko-contain siya ng maraming 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 or nagko-contain siya ng mga soil ng, ng mga ng mga mga water so the tendency of that is pag naipon yung water it will encourage now root rotting okay so um the, as i told you a while ago the flower for this particular plant is quite showy okay mamaya makikita niyo mga pictures niyan and then of course this one wala siyang pinipiling season uh, all year round this particular plant is green. Okay? So, perennial green, kumbaga, ang kanyang sistema. Okay. In terms of the pest, um, susceptible. Ano ba susceptible? Tama ba susceptible? Uh, very, ano siya, very uh, resilient siya doon sa mga mga pest, katulad ng millibugs. Okay? Yun ang nakita namin sa kanya. Hindi siya masyadong naapektuhan ng mga suckers. I don't know why, but most probably baka meron siyang panglaban doon sa kanyang mga material. Okay? Then, <coughs> okay, so we have also yung tinatawag nating um, in terms of yung kanyang toxicity, um, <coughs> based on this one naman kasi, hindi naman kasi siya pwedeng makainin or hindi siya nga, uh, masasabi natin na, ang talagang pinaka-attractant niya talaga for this particular, of this particular plant ay yung ating tinatawag na ano, na, na yung kanyang flower, kung baga. Okay? So, ayan. So, by the way guys, this could be a good, a very nice gift for our, for your friends, relatives, syempre sa mga occasions katulad ng Christmas. Kaya, uh, if I were you, uh, if you're able to find a Stepania Erecta, pwede nyo siyang ibigay sa kanila. Especially if they lo- really love some exotic type of plants na, na at nag-aalaga sila ng mga exotic plants. They will really love this one. Especially, during the flowering stage of this particular Estepalia gigantea. Okay? So, sayang nga lang, hindi namin na ipakita sa inyo or hindi namin nakita yung talagang, hindi natin napakita sa inyo yung talagang malaking plant with the flower. Pero, but definitely, we have some recordings ng pictures at mag appear na lang yan sa ating uh, YouTube with this particular things. Okay? Okay? So, uh, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to replant all of these things here. So, I'm just going to show you. So, ito, maganda na itong pangregalo sa ating mga loved ones. Just tie a brown cord here, tapos maglagay kayo ng Merry Christmas or Happy Birthday, something like that. Okay? Just a creative idea. Napakaganda. At definitely, pag inalagaan ito ng inyong pagbibigyan, eh, they will be, they really love this one because of their unique characteristics at saka, sa kanilang napakalaking mga bulaklak, kung baga. Okay? So, I think that's all folks. You're watching Planting with F and Grace. Before we end this, shout out muna kay Boss Estong and kay Jan Ayala. And thank you din kay Miss Lisa Flores for your feedback. 
uh, we really appreciate it about Hoya Plan. Again, please watch and subscribe to our YouTube channel and you may add to your list our FB page Maria Gracia Tarlihim Nahardin. See you again next time for another planting experience, another kwentuhan, another things to discuss. Okay, thank you very much and goodbye.